comments of my colleague, uh, Deputy Boyd Barrett. Uh, three years ago, Minister, I met with the Ombudsman for Children, uh, Dr Niall Muldoon, and highlighted uh, our concern at the time at the in inappropriate accom accommodation of homeless children in hotel rooms and B&Bs and the lack of action by the government in tackling the crisis. At that time, I also met with the Children's Rights Alliance regarding the inclusion of children expecting experiencing homelessness in their report to the UN com uh, Commission, uh, Committee on the Rights of the Child. That summer, during the week of 24 30 of August 2015, there was a shocking 707 homeless families and 1,496 homeless children. But during this, uh, uh, the few weeks ago, the week of the 21st and 27th of May 2018, Minister, as you now know, uh, the, uh, these numbers have jumped dramatically uh, to 1,724 homeless families with 3,826 homeless children. It has to be said, I mean, sh shame on Fine Gael and shame on Fianna Fáil and shame on the private landlords for commodifying housing and pushing such huge numbers of families and children into homelessness. We know that rising and, and unaffordable rents are one of the main causal factors of family homelessness, and yet nothing real has been done to, to uh, address this. And the last government um, uh, you know, talked a lot about uh, uh, rent caps and so on and so forth, but, you know, but we still see inexorable rises, Minister, as you well know. And rebuilding Ireland's strategy, of course, pushed more and more families into the private rental sector to the um, HAP programme, um, which is not stable, doesn't provide security of tenure and it's not value for money and you might have heard me uh, saying some time ago to the Taoiseach or to Taunish, the Minister of, about families that are now being evicted from HAP tenancies uh, and the cost of the benefit analysis of course of investing in housing stock or lining the pockets of private landlords will clearly show where the longer term financial gain would be not to mention the main benefit of, of providing greater security for families and their children. Focus Ireland's report Finding a Home uh, Families uh, Journey Out of Homelessness by Dr Cathy Walsh and Brian Harvey published last November showed that the negative impacts of homelessness abated more quickly for those families who were rehoused in local authority accommodation or with an approved housing body compared to those placed in HAP accommodation. For the simple reason, Minister, that the uncertainty, uh, the, the, the feeling that children have, and sometimes, I'm sure you've met them yourself, you see them in front of you, um, and, and they're experiencing a great fear about uh, the fact that they don't have a forever home like most children. Uh, and, and it's interesting to note that that report found that the speed of adjustment uh, did not appear to be linked to, to the duration of, of homelessness. And last year, of course, Bernardo's produced a briefing paper, Faces Behind the Figures of Child Homelessness, and stated, and I quote, that the, um, the, these children are being robbed of their childhood and this will have lifelong implications for them and for all of society, end quote. And I do think, Minister, that uh, you know, in the years to come, or maybe not, not too distant future, uh, ministers will be held accountable, and even people who served in the last government, the government before it, they'll be held accountable for this. And, and uh, you know, we've had apologies recently for um, horrendous deeds that were done to citizens, um, and the dark chapters that the Taoiseach talks about. And here we are living in a dark chapter. You and your colleagues have the power to bring to an end uh, with Fianna Fáil, which are a joint Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael government. You have the power to bring it to an end, and you're absolutely refusing to do that. And of course, Minister, hidden homelessness is often mentioned in the national discourse, but it's not recorded. We know that huge numbers of families, whom again we deputies meet week in, week out, their families with children, they're living in cramped and overcrowded accommodation, sharing with family members or, or friends, uh, couch surfing, etc., that we've all unfortunately had to get used to uh, in recent times. We also had the report, of course, from Lilani Farha, the Special Rapporteur for Adequate Housing with the United Nations, and uh, again supported calls for right to housing to be included in the Constitution. You could do that now next October 26 if you wanted to, couldn't you, to put a right to housing into the Constitution. We've had several bills from colleagues in this House asking precisely for, for that to, uh, to happen. Uh, it's all, I also wonder, we've been talking a lot yesterday, Minister, and we will be the next few days about Europe, is to, to what extent, uh, you know, given that it's a European-wide problem as well, you, you've looked for support, uh, for example, from the Social Fund, the Regional Development Fund, the Fund of European Aid to the Most Deprived. You know, whether or not you have, uh, I know you've done some work in that regard, uh, and the government has, but whether or not you've actually uh, really exploited the possibilities of getting serious funding for local authority housing uh, to rebuild our, our local authorities and to give them a housing arm. In conclusion, Cam, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the tireless work of the volunteers behind the uh, hashtag My Name is campaign, Mick Call, Erica Fleming and others, Anthony Flynn and his great team in inner city helping homeless, and the work of all the agencies working with and advocating for homeless children and families, the volunteers behind the North Dublin Bay Housing Christ Committee of our own, who work very hard to fund days out at Christmas, Easter and so on, to all the teachers who support homeless uh, children in their classrooms um, and to bring in, who bring understanding to the awful living conditions of these children. But Minister, um, you know, you, you, you have a historic task here.
here and your flunking it. Thanks, uh, Cam. Thank you, Colin. Okay.